Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is a piece of equipment that introduced DNA into cells by via DNA code microprojectiles and you have to choose a correct answer. I hope that everyone would be able to choose a correct answer so the purpose of this video would be to go over each technique, uh, what we use it for and why. And the first would be laser and take a look, uh, this technique actually really amazed me because uh, it allows nowadays using laser to cut away uh, even smallest uh, organelles of the cell, of the single cell and study those organelles uh, separate from the rest. This is how uh, precise uh, laser techniques are and also uh, another for example application would be Imagine that um, scientists uh, study uh, ra rape kit and uh, in this kit we have uh, many cells uh, of the female and it may contain a few cells of the male. Maybe let's imagine that uh, this female have been raped by two males and if we will uh, do electropherogram of this sample and uh, study DNA fingerprint what we are going to get we are going to get something like this uh, so this is going to be uh, females uh, DNA fingerprint uh, and another male fingerprint would be something like this and yet another one also would be something like this so it's extremely hard to uh, define uh, DNA fingerprint of these males and especially here I show them with different color but actually cells doesn't have different color but what we can do we know that uh, female uh, genotype is um, X X chromosome and male genotype is X and Y chromosome. So we can uh, make special uh, probes that would be specific uh, for uh, Y chromosome, uh, for certain uh, sequence on the Y chromosome and would code it uh, regardless of the male uh, y chromosome would be 99.99% uh, homologous uh, would have the same sequence so our probe uh, would cover y chromosome in each such cell and we would be able to visualize such cells uh, if these probes would be whether radioactive or uh, would have a fluorescent uh, uh, protein so we would be able to see it and using laser once again we would be able to cut uh, such um, uh, cells from our slide and study those uh, cells separate from uh, all the other cells so we would be able to cut say this cell now we know that uh, this is male cell and this one and uh, then we would be able to obtain um, genetic profiles that would look like this. And now we can uh, study this genetics, uh, genetic profiles. Uh, we are not going to get too much noise here and we would be able to find uh, if uh, suspect that we have uh, would match uh, this genetic profile. So compare uh, this picture and this picture. And all this is possible due to uh, laser techniques where we actually can cut uh, single cells uh, from the sample or even organelles from single cell. Isn't it uh, amazing? So now let's talk about DNA probe Basically, I already gave you an example of what is DNA probe. 
it's basically uh, some DNA uh, sequence that is going to be specific for other DNA sequence. For example, if we have A, T, C, G, A, 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 A sequence, say, on the Y chromosome, and if we would make a probe, the probe sequence going to be so adenine would base pair with thymine, thymine with uh, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, 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 and also we would have a fluorescent protein here attached. So uh, if we would have uh, many such sequences, uh, we would be able to visualize uh, it. Or if uh, we would have a small number of cells, then in this case uh, we can use radioactive um, marker. So uh, basically now you know these uh, two terms, what these terms mean. And uh, the correct answer, as you see, uh, is a gene gun. But let me explain what is a gene gun techniques uh, uh, means and uh, how this works. And here is the picture. You see it does look like a gun, but sometimes it doesn't look like a gun. For example, take a look at this picture. So this is also uh, would be gene uh, gun, but uh, this time uh, it looks like a chamber. But the principles would be the same. So, for example, here, as you see, we have uh, some tube here, actually, that uh, brings a pressure here. And inside we have a special uh, film that uh, when this pressure would build uh, to about 650 PSA, it would break and all the pressure would hit another membrane uh, to lower side of which we would have uh, gold particles covered uh, with DNA. And those uh, gold particles would shoot down uh, at the sample that we have here, uh, going through it, uh, and also not exactly through it, but uh, we would find uh, these uh, gold particles covered with DNA, and not just random DNA, but uh, this DNA would represent one gene. And we uh, would expect that uh, out of thousands and maybe millions of uh, such golden particles uh, covered with um, DNA, some of them uh, would hit nucleus of the sample and uh, also would be integrated in the DNA um, or in the genome of the sample, because uh, every cell has a mechanism how to repair if, uh, for example, uh, chromosome would be uh, would be uh, broken. So uh, actually, all our cells and plant cells and bacteria cells have such mechanism of repair and would uh, integrate. Uh, of course, not 100% efficient, this mechanism, but at least uh, we need few cells where uh, this um, DNA would be integrated into the genome of the sample, and then uh, we would have uh, organism uh, with a new gene of our interest. And basically, uh, this uh, handhold uh, gun also works uh, with the same principles, but uh, instead here we may have with the pressure that going to build here uh, from the outer source, or we may have uh, here some other mechanism that would also uh, give uh, this uh, golden particles covered with DNA uh, higher speed in order, as you see, to uh, go inside the cells. And as you know, many cells of the plants are totipotent, meaning that uh, you can cut this um, leaf 
and you can uh, regrow the whole plant on the petri dish uh, using different uh, techniques uh, including uh, growth media, hormones and special conditions. So now I hope you would uh, have better idea about all these uh, methods and uh, techniques where we apply them. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write a comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.